Hey Virgo and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly for the first two weeks of February. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Virgos. These messages won't apply to everybody, so please take what oh, that was horrible. <laughs> please take what fits and leave what don't. Alright, let's see what we got. Spirit angels and messages to her for Virgo and love for the first two weeks of February. Please bring in all messages through these cards for Virgo's best and greatest good. Thank you. All right. Well, maybe here. There we go. First card out is the Hierophant in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. And the World. The Two of Swords. Virgos, Virgos' shared energy with your person is the Seven of uh, Pentacles in reverse, clarified by the Emperor in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. Your guys' bottom of the deck overall theme is the Ten of Wands in reverse, followed by the High Priestess. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, starting with your guys' theme of the reading, um, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Coming to the end of the cycle, it is almost complete. It is almost done, um, and it won't be long before it is. <clears throat> you guys have been carrying this burden, the weight of this, situation for a long, long time, and you are getting closer and closer to the tower um, where you will put that burden down and the tower will fall. Uh, this this burden has to do with um, some sort of secret that you have been keeping or, um, or a secret coming out is what will bring the tower out, but we will see what comes out in the cards. Your guys' is shared energy with you or your person. Now, these energies can be vice versa because energy is fluid. So um, if it's not you, it's the person that you're dealing with. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, somebody is growing impatient. Somebody has been spending a lot of time um, thinking and not taking action. Uh, not able to manifest anything into the reality because you're, you or your person um it's not taking the time needed to plant the seeds of intention to to weed out their own garden and um, to take some steps moving forward. Uh, this could be a loss of money as well. It's being clarified by the emperor in reverse. So uh, somebody is really out of balance in your life, either you or the person you're dealing with, um, and that's causing you to feel stuck or whoever is out of balance. Um, the emperor has like control issues. They have to control the situation, um, the outcome, and it's just making you feel very like you're spiraling out of control because the more you try to um, control the situation, the more the universe is going to show you that, that you are not in control. Um, also, somebody who has been waiting and waiting and waiting for you to move forward um, is is also feeling stuck and trapped by this situation. They feel they can't move on either um, because they have been waiting this long for you guys. Let's pull a clarifier. All right. 
So um, leading up to this point, you're dealing with a commitment, a long-term commitment or a marriage um, that has been struggling, that has not, you're trying, you want to get out of it is what I just heard. Yeah, the sun in reverse. So um, you're dealing with a relationship that, that you feel that it's like hopeless. I'm getting this hopeless feeling. Um, you've been trying to get out of a long-term commitment, a contract, a, a marriage, a, whatever, um, it is that you're trying to get out of and you're losing hope. You're, you're feeling down about it, gloomy about it. Um, but the sun is here. Uh, so you are going to be enlightened on how to either fix this situation or move away from this situation. For this group of you, however, I do feel you're moving away from the situation because you have the Ten of Wands and the world here. When the world is out, it is done and complete. Um, yeah. The, the universe is helping you or trying to help put you in the right path. Um, for some of you, however, you are ignoring uh, your intuition. You're ignoring that inner voice your guides that are trying to push you in the right direction, you're, you're blocking them out. You're not wanting to hear them. Um, yeah, you're just, you're not listening to your inner voice. Uh, where you guys are at now is the Ace of Swords in reverse. So still living in that cloud of confusion, um, not seeing what the divine is trying to show you, not speaking your truth. You could be not telling this person that you're in a commitment with the truth about how you really feel. Um, oh my goodness. That's way too many. Um, and so you're lying to yourself and to them. Why is the Ace of Swords here in reverse for Virgos? Thank you. The Page of Pentacles. So you're not sure where you want to invest in. You're confused. Your, your judgment is cloudy. You have a marriage that is failing. You have a marriage that is, is draining. Um, there could be somebody else. Um, I'm not seeing it right, right now just yet, but, um, you're just not sure if you want to keep investing in this situation. You're just really, uh, you're, you're really hiding from the truth. You know, the truth, you're just not speaking it. You're not telling this person the truth or yourself because you do know where you want to invest this, uh, pinnacle at whether it's with this person or not. Um, Spirit's advice to you guys is the world to allow this uh, situation to close out, close this chapter, put those 10 of wands down um, and, and move on, move forward, whether that's with this person or not. Um, it's time to put the past energy away. Why is the world here for Virgo as your advice, Spirit? What do you want them to know? Yeah, so um, clarifying the world, you have the strength and the six of cups. So you need to, you know, you have a soulmate connection with somebody and I don't feel it's who you're in a marriage with. Um, you know who you want to invest in. Um, you could be a Leo, Leo, both cards came out here with Leo, um, or you could have that somewhere in your chart uh, and Taurus. I'm seeing Taurus heavy here as well. But you have the strength to close this chapter. You have the strength to move up forward. You need to face that fear. You need to start walking your truth um, because you do have a soulmate that is waiting for you. Um, whether you've met them now yet or not, you may not even have even met them yet, but you will. Ten of Cups just flew out. But um, this is also having the strength and courage to close a chapter out with somebody you have children with possibly. Um you guys will know how it fits for you. Chariot just came out on top of that. So um, your guys' outside influence is the two of swords. So you're ignoring um, you're ignoring the signs. You would rather put a blindfold on and look in the other direction than to face your fear and move forward. Um, you're, you're ignoring everything on the outside. You're just trying to blissfully sit there um, and not and not deal with what's going on. Uh, why is the two of why is the two of swords here for Virgo? What's Virgo need to know about the two of swords?
the Nine of Pentacles. So you have the choice of whether to stay in the situation that is draining you or to become um, independent, to invest in yourself, to become uh, a better version of yourself, to become self-sufficient, um, bring up your self-confidence. Um, Spirit's advice is to work on yourself, to invest in yourself, because what is where this is headed is a seven of swords energy, more deceit, more um, sneaking around. Okay, I do see a third party in here now. Oh, the third party is your soulmate. That's why it's saying you need to close the chapter on this relationship that's in reverse here with the Hierophant in reverse. This, the angels or your spirit guides, your inner voice, it's going to show you the path to enlightenment um, where you will find clarity of where you're going to invest or where you need to invest, where you want to invest, how to speak your truth. Um, but spirit's advice is to close out that chapter so you can move forward towards that soulmate energy. Um, you have the choice of whether to work on yourself, become strong, independent, or to stay in this codependent relationship. What's heading towards you is the Seven of Swords, however, with the justice in reverse. So there's been a lot of sneaking around, a lot of things done in the dark. Those are all going to be and those are all going to be exposed. They're all going to be um, brought to light. What's done in the dark will always come to light. You do have the high priestess here that I said will bring down the tower. Will allow you to put these down. This secret is going to come out. The secret is going to be uh, exposed, and cheating uh, is going to. Somebody's going to either find out you've been cheating or that they've been cheating on you. You've been holding off getting a divorce from this person and instead just sneaking around. You could be, you could know that this has been going on, but you're scared to leave this person due to finances as well. So you're just kind of turning a blind eye to this person sneaking around. But the karmic scales need to balance back out. The justice in reverse, um, this needs to, this needs to stop and, and allow balance to be restored again. Could be dealing with a Libra, a, a, a Taurus, a Leo, an Aries, a Pisces, Cancer. All there's everybody's pretty much. But what we're all entered in the next two weeks is the Six of Cups. So you are you are um, figuring out where you want to invest in that, and your soulmate is still going to come towards you. But you have to get out of this place of being stuck. You've been stuck for so long, Virgos. Um, you had a couple of good weeks of movement in there, and then and then you're right back to being stuck. For some of you, you could have left this marriage temporarily and was with somebody else and then went back to the marriage. For some of you. Why is the Six of Cups here in the overall outcome? Oh, that's a lot of cards. All right. Well, I'm being told to take them, so. All right, Virgo, here you are. Your overall outcome of the reading is you are going to go within. You are going to find balance and get and get uh, grounded again. In that time, you will need to look for your inner light. You need to listen to that inner voice. It's been trying to lead you and guide you in the direction that you need to go. You are going to find that inner light and begin to follow it. Um, right now, you're at a you're at a halt in your progress. You need to, you feel like the situation's out of your control. You need to realize that you have the strength to face this fear and that you are in control of this situation. So you can um, move this chariot out of the tower situation and into healing. You are going to get out of feeling stuck though. However, with that being in your overall energy um, and this being your outcome, that is positive. Uh, that is move in the positive, in a positive direction. Um, you are working on your finances, trying to gain stability, um, trying to gain the confidence to go out on your own. You're very fearful about money, I'm hearing, and that could be why you're staying in the situation that you are in, because you feel unstable financially. You are going to 
put the juggling aside and follow your heart, move towards, uh, your soulmate energy. This is duality. Um, this is also a cup of soulmates and you have it clarifying the world up here as well. So you are going to move towards love. You are going to pick love, um, eternal love and the love of a soulmate. So that is your outcome, overall outcome, clarifying the six of cups. You are going to make your way to that soulmate Virgo, but, um, but you need to stop, uh, ignoring your inner voice, start listening to that intuition. It's telling you everything you need. Um, but it seems like you are, uh, looking to outside, um, people for, for answers when all the answers you need are in your own heart, mind, and soul. So go within, take on that hermit, um, energy and, and figure out where you need to go so you can get out of the stuck situation, whether that be staying where you're at or um, choosing to move forward, um, all your answers will be found within. So let's get some prediction cards for the next two weeks and what you guys can expect. Spirit Angels, what do you predict for Virgo happening in the next two weeks? Oh, my ears just started ringing. Something fierce. Some of you are um, getting major downloads. Some of you are he like hearing from spirit directly, like you're going to start hearing things. And one more or two more. Thank you, spirit. All right. I was wondering if that was going to come out. All right. Um, the after tarot isn't read in the reverse, even though the fool came out. Um, you are going to take that leap of faith, even though it's going to take you right down to the wire. It seems like you're hanging on for dear life um, and ignoring all the things that are going wrong around you. But you are going to overcome that because it did come out in the reverse and I do acknowledge that. Uh, you are going to take that leap of faith with whatever it is you have on mind. Um, for a lot of you, you are um, you are allowing the truth to be that you are in love with someone else. Your next word out what the chat. So I said, I wouldn't try that came out. Allow it to out. Or just also give you. You feeling with fire sign, um, or you are choosing uh, a fire sign, or somebody who is very passionate, who you feel you have a lot of passion with, and you are going to um, receive information, or your partner is um, that's going to come in with the truth. And that's going to allow the tower to fall. Um, it could be the truth about a fire sign. Um, it could be a Scorpio, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but this person, this message coming in, it is <clears throat> going to sit in motion this tower. But I feel like I said, a lot of you are the tower to come. 